Okay, here's a quick configuration of the Rad Runner Plus. Still, just a little test configuration here. I'm doing a little test. I'm just going to show you what I got here just for now. I got the small rack. I just have this uh, thing strapped down by its own straps right now. This is a little drone case. So I got a drone on the front. I got the light mounted up here right now. It's just temporarily mounted on this GoPro. This is a standard light. I put on this GoPro mount. And it's up here and I got this little foam thing to like insulate vibrations a bit. I got the other GoPro on this other mount aiming back, which is just, you know, stuff hooked up. I have this light, obviously, which is the disco light, which is on here right now. I'll probably move it back up here. Um, right now I have it in here because I, I was trying to mount, I tried to use this mount to hold another light on, uh, the other, the heavier duty light on, and I'm going to do some other kind of a custom mounting bracket or something different higher kind of up here and probably the, with the bigger light that's my goal this light will work it'll go over the load if it's up high enough if it's mounted up high enough it'll go over the uh it'll aim over your load if you're if you have a, a, sh a low load which is kind of cool instead of having up in the front although if i put something on the front like underneath like i think they suggest if i did that then i would have um it only looks straight forward i don't know if i want to do that so and then we got the uh the rear here this is just the hinge setup for the uh, pizza box right now I got a I got a drone controller in there and I got room under here and I can take this off I can take the hinge off so right now I have a I have my parrot controller in here just for the heck of it just for a little test drive around I have the wires rerouted slightly they're, they're back here I put this around it I zip tied it but I might I might attach a zip tie to keep these wires in line and I'm running this wire back off this way with the extension up to here although I could cut the the zip tie and put another zip tie in and just bring the wire directly up to put the light up here that's it take a little test drive trying it out i got a, this this kind of like interferes with the load this kind of this loom like gets rubbed by the load or whatever when you're turning so i don't know if this is a great that great of a solution um maybe something around here maybe bring this up i, I brought it down actually it's usually up higher I probably got to bring it back up again. I brought it down because of bringing this off. I wanted it to not rub down here. So I wrap it with this. Although I could probably bring this up and just have this wrap go along it. Just a, it's just a zip tied um, a poodle, a pool noodle. A styrofoam pool noodle that I cut and I'm just zip tying it. I haven't fastened it down yet. I'm not, I don't turn the bike too much to the right or the left, actually. I don't really actually turn it that much severely as I thought I would. So uh, in, in riding, I don't make that sharp of a turn. That's it. That's my quick review. What does it mean? I don't know. So this is the, kind of the cheesy thing. I got this rack. I got this zip tied down. This is like a, a rack inverted. And it's just a wire rack, but it fits this perfectly. This cheap, cheesy box, this little rack fits that perfectly. So that's the setup for now.